Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming Where we can play excellent games Without busting our wallets Wow So this is episode 226 of uh, Fallout 4, uh, the zombie modified gameplay, and yeah, I got distracted the last uh, couple of days. Uh, I was playing, I uh, went back and played a little bit of Nobunaga's Ambition. Yeah, I played Nobuda Gets Ambition again. So I uh, kind of like to play, yeah, kind of different games. Nimble Overcharge. Oh, what does Nimble do? Nimble uses magnetic. No, no, what? But inducted. Oh, inducted overcharged. Okay, so it. Abs oh, this is not bad, actually. So it took uh, some of the, what happened was that it then took uh, the modded versions of the games and applied it, uh, part of the mod, right, when we got the, uh, one of the modded mod packs allowed the, the term inducted. And it incorporated that into the game itself. So this is pretty cool. So now, uh, monsters can actually drop these uh, as part of the gameplay. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah, like I said, uh, sometimes when we play one game for quite a few weeks, uh, I, you know, we get kind of wanting to play some other types of games. Uh, like, to get rid of the... The, the sameness of the game. So I played uh, Nobunaga's Ambition uh, again uh, for a couple of days and it's a lot of fun and once we take a break from this game and come back to this game, this game again becomes a very uh, a very relaxing or a very interesting game to play. Oh, what is this? Oh, I, I thought it was... So it's just a reflection of whatever's coming. Oh, I thought why do we have some kind of a... I guess this is the one we just killed, right? Yeah. Oh, we came from that direction. Okay. And we were headed in that direction. So if we look at the map. So I'm trying to remember where we are at the moment. So I think we came in from the east. And we were headed towards the west. Yes, I think so. So it kind of... You, you get a more... Uh, refreshed feeling playing this game I love this game so after but after playing a few weeks so I needed some kind of a break so either sometimes mostly I read books or I play uh, other games that I like to play like romance like Fallout 4 or like uh, seven days to die or Ark Ark is something we never completed also before remember before our uh, my system kind of broke or it stopped the old system. I've been using the old PS4 for literally many years. And it broke down. And therefore, when it broke down, uh, a lot of the gameplay or the save games that I played in that machine kind of went away too. So uh, it makes, it gives me so much excuse to go and play them again because, well, I want to play them. And, uh, and since we have no record of it, uh, it was worth going playing again. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I tell myself, though. Okay, uh, so we are headed west, right? And we're because I believe this is where uh, the the main camp of Children of the Atom will be. Um, and I think that we're heading we're we're heading 
we're hitting the maybe uh, western edge of the map. Whoa, where did that thing come from? Oh, it's just a regular, uh... Whoa, it's always exciting to be out here. So there is, uh, a site, uh, a site of interest that we have not... We, I thought we came in from the east, right? We came in from the east. So that means something on the southeast. Oh, there's a factory here we did not actually see. Oh, another death call. Oh, instant death. Oh, remember we were looking at that shiny thing, maybe? Is that the same shiny thing we saw earlier? So these things kind of constantly respawn or something? Right? Oh, no, no. That's a different one. Okay. I guess it's a general reflection of stuff. Another death claw? Find anything useful? Yeah, there is this factory here. Another uh, site of interest that we did not actually check on. So the nice thing about the uh, VATS is that we can actually spot them before... See? Oh, another... See, this one doesn't have the the range, but it has the oomph, I mean the power. So the pistol has the range, but it doesn't have the power for close-in fights. So for close-in fights, I go with the... with the assault rifle. So this was the factory we saw, right? Yeah, old Neil, old family factory. Oh, we could have come up here and this would be a safe uh, spot so that the, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the rad scorpions can't get to us by digging underground, right? Ooh, how do we get in there? I think... Is there a way to get in there? Uh, huh. What? How come we can... Oh, that thing. Oh, okay, okay. Rooftop, rooftop. So this leads up to the rooftop. And nothing. <laughs> okay, I thought the gate. What the f? <laughs> okay, so this is the O'Neill's uh, factory. Sure. Okay, let's see if we can find something. Maybe here. Oh, maybe here. How about here? How about here? Wow.
So I was hoping there is some kind of a uh, entry point. That will allow us into this unit. You know, there's got to be some kind of an access point maybe underneath this bridge lead up to this so nothing from the top you know why have why do they have this as a uh, point of interest if there is no way to get in there right and the rooftop is not a uh, is not an answer. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, we go. Okay, okay. Before we go down there, okay, let us save this, and then uh, we can come in from. Uh, the, the front door we saw was the, uh, the I think that's the exit point. Okay, so we are currently at the O'Neill Family Manufacturing, right? Uh, so this is the map, we're in the glowing sea. This O'Neill Family Manufacturing. Okay, I see, I see, okay. Oh, we can come back out here too. Uh, this is... Our problem is that we're taking a lot... You know what? Um, we should... Uh, eat one of the... What do you call this? Uh, not meat, but the... Mutant Hound? Mutant Hound Steak or something. Uh, it gives us like plus 50. Grilled Red Roach. Uh, grilled Rag Stag. Uh, M, 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 M. Mutant Hound. Uh, egg omelette gives us AP. Cake gives us can breathe underwater. See mongrel, no mutant hound chops. Yeah. Oh, it reduces by uh, rads by fifty. Something gives us like a mutant hound meat. No. Uh, okay, we can use this to remove. But I believe we had like a uh, that prevents Nemethian meat. Yeah, I remember something that gives us protection from. Man, I I don't remember, but it does gives us protection. Of, uh, it gives us more of like plus fifty or plus twenty radiation resistance. Not the not the uh, red X, but um, something that we cooked. And I did not want to eat those because um, I I don't want to eat those to recover our health because there are other ways of doing that. Uh, meat, rabbit leg. I guess we'll just use rad X, right? Let's just use one rad X. And then we can use the mutant chops. Not the mutant hound, but uh, yeah, mutant chops.
Or is that the one that gives us resistance? Not the one that reduces resistance. Ouch. See, it says here minus 50 rads. I think this is the one that gives us resistance. So we have like a double. <laughs> okay, we just have a double. There's another one that uh, reduces. You know what? Let's just use this uh, right away. Okay, we came down from there. Wow, we're still taking radiation damage. Nothing here, right? Um... Uh, You know what, since we have such a noisy uh, sidekick, let's just tor turn on our light. We don't really need to be sneaking. Or we can be sneaking just to give us the heads up that we are actually, we need to be watching, uh, we need to watch out sentry Oh, sentry bot. Oh, we want to take that. Open. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder if uh, once we have it, once we have it opened, if uh, if we come back here after the respawn period, would they? Continue to remain open, or do we have to come back down here? Four shotgun shells, that is... That's so tiny, that's pitiful. Okay, we come in from here. What? Is that the ex no, oh, we came in from there, right? Yeah. Is that is this the extent extent of it? I guess this is the extent of it, right? It we uh yeah, that is that is where we came in at. Oh. I wish this were like deeper, lots more items for us to just, uh, lots more monsters to kill, but apparently not. So just one tiny. No, oh, where is that door though? Uh, right, we opened that door. So does that door lead else somewhere else? Like the front door, right? Oh, here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the front door. Yeah, like this is the front door, maybe? No, that's not the front door. 
So if we come back out this way. Aiming for the brainstem. Okay, whore. Get out of my way. What? Oh, oh, duelist pipe wrench. I guess uh, every time this thing respawns, then I, the door will, have, will be relocked, and then we have to yeah come down, uh, go down there, open this up to get access to this uh, place. So, so this is the real price. Is this one bottle caps? Right, that is, yeah, that apparently is the price here. Uh, okay. So we've cleaned out this spot. And we are headed west. That's east. Okay. Uh, let's look. Okay. So I'm looking for points of interest. Sites of interest, points of interest. Uh, so that we are actually, when, since we're exploring the glowing sea, uh, and we're taking a lot of radiation damage I, I was I believe there are more spots here that we're not Death Skull Scorpion. This thing is so good. I mean, st stalker. Yes, okay. Where's the other one? Uh, we killed right over here. So I guess. Ooh. I didn't even realize that. I think. As we explore this area, uh, more of these things spawn. Right, we're east, we're headed west, right? South and west. <laughs> or are we going around? No, we're not going around. Okay. Uh, our problem is that we're taking a lot of radiation damage.
I think we're getting close to the edge. Oh no, there's another factory uh, slightly to the northwest of, northwest of us. Ooh, another dead skull. Legendary though. Those things, that's right. We, uh, the pistol has a, has less punch. Ex Disciple metal right arm. Huh? Reduces damage from mylurks and bugs by 15%. Whoa, I think, yeah, oh, there's the factory over there. Whoa, look at that. Whoa! Okay, there goes our timer. Right, and we're continuing to just explore the uh, the glowing sea. So this is where we currently are, and our timer went off. Just just went off. So I guess this would be a good place to uh, cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're joining me. You'll join me in the next episode. I really love this. Uh, we're dealing with really tough uh, monsters in a very dangerous environment because we're constantly taking damage from radiation and our life bar keeps shrinking. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!